What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Sub Doubles, baby. Hashtag Farm Sub Doubles. Today, we've got 24 PC mods in testing. We've got 27 console mods in testing. With all those 13 mods were released today. Lancy Boy has finished with Stone Valley for consoles, plus Oxygen David has some more mud. Let's check it out. In test A4 PC, we have Bakawa, Cistern, Klaus Cordo 290 FN, Farmhouse, Grasslands, Gettler of Vod 56, Hollingsfeld, John Deere 6 Ilm Series, Joskin Wago Loader, Kane Low Loader, Liquid Fertilizer and Herbicide Storage, Mock Xbib African, Pallet Storage Pack, SDL Group Pack, Seasons Geo South Saskatchewan, Sigma Bronte 3000, SIP Pointer 20, Small Pigsty, Tipside HUD, Tube Bar holder and tow bar, train stop mod, walls, wolf system shed with gates, and wool storage. In test day four console, we have Bachexna, re refilled Commander 28, Case IH 1255 1455 XL, Concrete and Metal Fences Pack, Cow's Barn, Cavernland Cultivator, Dan Gravel B132B, Dan Gravel SLW 18, Flegal Guide Rail, Grain Storage, Joskin Cargo Pack, Colonia 1990, La Coronella, Lemkin Crystal 9. Lizard Dumper, New Holland 40 ER Pack, New Holland C232's Custom Skid Steer, Old Fuel Stations Pack, Placeable Storage Silo, Placeable Wooden Fountain, Street Signs, Switchback Canyon, Man TGS 26500, Man TGS 26500 IT Runner, The Man TGS 41500 IT Runner, Vinhuish JVK 16000, and the Zunhammer TS 10000 KE. With all that being said, we still have 121 mods sitting waiting to be tested and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is up to five work days. In addition to the mods and testing, 13 mods were released today to the in-game mod hub. New for all platforms, we have the Joskin Cargo Pack, Lizard D35, Lately P300 Silage Harvester, Lizard WM, and the New Holland C232 Custom Skid Steer. Updates for all platforms include the Zunhammer TS10000KE, German Cow Barn, and the house in the old style. New for PC and Mac includes Sandy Bay 19 and AgroLift AUS1. And finally, updates for PC and Mac include Geiselsberg, MZHT16, and the Bombit U473-2. I've already made a video showing these off, which you can find linked below. Let's see boy dropping some bombs today as Stone Valley 4X for PC update is done, and the 2X version, which is made for PC and console both, are finished and sent off to Lancy Boy's testers. Both the 4X and 2X versions of Stone Valley will be sent to Giants at the same time, so make sure you stay on the lookout for those. I will let you know once they've been sent off. And lastly today, Oxygen David has announced that he was adding mud textures to Comston Farms. That was yesterday, and today he has added the dynamic mud script from Nebraska Lands Map. This is the first map for FS19 that he has said may not come to console just because he's not limiting himself to anything and using 100% of his creativity to bring us the best map that Farming Simulator has ever seen. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss a video here on the channel. Again, we're going to be live streaming tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're moving our Tuesday stream to Monday because Sandy Bay is here. With all that being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace! This is what I call a Mod Monday right here.